All right, hey guys, so this is something a bit new. I'm going to play the hourly Super Blitz Arena and um, I'm going, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to finish at the top, of course, because I'm joining this late. Mm, I don't think I'll berserk, I'll focus on the educational part. But um, the point is to get 10 blitz games for this video and we'll analyze them and see how we can improve okay so he's giving me the center and he's playing very quickly so I'll just take the center and be happy about that now maybe h6 now he has to trade yes um, do I close it up I want to open it up for the bishops but if I take he has 94 and I lose the bishops mm, so just d4 Okay, I try to pin the knight, and hmm, this, I, I want to provoke g4 now, if he plays that, uh, I argue it's a weakening move, okay, he doesn't, where do I want my rooks, I want my rooks, I want one on the c file and one on the e file maybe, or d file, it depends, okay, so I don't think we'll get 10 games in this tournament, so I'll join the next one and while we wait for the next one, I'll analyze the games. Ah, so he's attacking b7. I'll just protect it, but then he has maybe knight c4. Hmm, do I go b6 then? b6 looks a bit strange. I'll just go here. If knight c4... I might just move the bishop, then I have bishop f3. Or I might play bishop f3 immediately. Oh, this. This I just take with this with this knight and then... Wait, or do I take like this? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I take like this and get my rook on a semi-open file. Okay, this doesn't really threaten anything, so I just go with this. Go for b5, queenside expansion. Okay, this is... Ah, he's attacking the bishop. So, do I need to move that? I don't need to move it. I can just go for an endgame now. With this. He's playing quite well. He's playing a nice setup. Okay, he's going to get some uh, activity here with f4. Yeah, but, um, wait, is my bishop, no, it's not trapped, but he'll be dead now. He plays f5 and my bishop is dead. But I do get the e5 square for my dark square bishop, so that's the beauty of having the two bishops, eh? Now I have to play b5. Well, I don't have to, but I'd like to. Now if knight d6, I just go with this rook and the knight... Mm, it's short on squares, it's not immediately trapped. Okay, this I just play here. And now maybe I go bishop d8. Then c4 or something. Okay, it's preventing c4. I need to reroute this bishop. I need to get this guy active. How do I get it active again? I just play this maybe. Yeah, let's pre-move that. So now if my bishop is active, I'm happy. But I do isolate this pawn. So that's a slight concession, but... Ah, this. Isn't this pawn weak, though? I think I can argue that it's weak. He might go e6, though. But yeah, I just take. But I can't take twice because of the pin. So I go... Ah, this way. Okay, but now I'm attacking this point and this point. So... This should be good. This move, hmm. I, or do I take here with a tempo? Yeah, why not? And he can't go like look after or something. I just take with the bishop. So this move looks good. What? I just take. Did he miss that? That's weird. That's very weird. Okay. Okay. 
I'm happy about this development. Oh, come on, don't leave the game now. Ah, that sucks. Okay, I get the claim victory, but... So let's see here, yeah, almost no chance, even like, even if, uh, I don't know, uh, Nakamura was to join this tournament with 30 minutes left, he probably wouldn't make first. It's just, um, the games take too long. But anyway, okay, 1800, nice, funny username. <laughs> Okay, in the Sicilian. I'll go for the open Sicilian. <laughs> As I was saying that I play knight c3. Uh, yeah, I was going to play knight c3. Okay, so... We get this line. He's really throwing the moves quickly. Hmm, this move. Am I worried about b4? I, I just go knight a4. And if he gets the knight to c4, I just take with the bishop. This is looking okay. I think this is still theory, I don't know. I don't know enough of the theory here. <laughs> ah, this move. He wants to go knight b6 then. Hmm. Do I have anything here? Do I just go with the h4 plan? Yeah, I mean, this move is clear. Do I go b3? Actually, I'm going to sacrifice. To hell with it. <laughs> I get three pawns and... Um, I get three pawns. Ah, no, I blundered, I think. He has, oh, no, he doesn't have this. But he does, but I mean, it's not winning. So, yeah... I get three pawns for the piece. Okay, two pawns for the piece. <laughs> is, is this how this game will continue? Okay, if I go to b3, he gets knight f3, and if I move the bishop, he gets knight d2. So I need to go to c3. Now my idea is this, and prevent castling. Do I really care about that f3 pawn? Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, yeah, just here now. Now if I check, I just sidestep that. Okay, so this, I'm going here. I'm giving him the g4 pawn. But I get rook d3. Rook c d3, and so... That should be good. This, do I, it's, it looks like it's tactically exploitable, but I guess not. I guess not. Let's just play b4. Cement that bishop. He's really going uh, haywire on those pawns, eh? I don't like that. I don't like greed. Please don't be greedy. So how do I best activate my pieces? I go rook d3 just gets the knight there. Do I go bishop d6? Maybe. Let's stop spending so much time. Maybe this, then I provoke h5. I don't know if it's good to provoke h5. Eh. Now king here, and I want to start rolling these pawns. Maybe c4. Yeah, c4. This is just a check. Now I'm attacking e6. I need to start getting the pressure going. Again, just a check. I won't repeat, of course. After he goes, if he goes back to... Ah, this. Aggressive move. But I, I just don't reply to it, right? Just go c4 now. And if he takes, I move the rook. And I'm reasonably happy. He has to go knight e5. No, he doesn't have to. He could go knight e5. And now, okay, he's he's trying to prevent me going through b4, but I can just go with the other pawn. I'm happy with the trade, right? Because I'm taking, I'm pushing these guys with tempo. 
I should have maybe pushed the pawn. Getting the king to b4 wasn't strictly necessary. I could just take this. Yes, I can. I need to be cautious of the rook. Of the knight, I mean. But these pawns are rolling. These pawns are rolling. And they are rolling quite, uh, quite quickly. So just take this guy. I missed that, but the pawns will speak now. They will speak the language of, of checkmate. <laughs> okay, so just king here. He's wasting a tempo. At least that's what it looks like for me. Then I get b6. Okay, he's helping me push my pawns forward. That, that shouldn't be the best plan. The problem is his bishop is really covering all those squares. Now I have a check and b6. But the pawns are fragmented. Okay, maybe here. And now b6. Right, now b6. And I think I'm promoting, but I'm promoting at a big cost now. But still, a queen is a queen. Oh, I can't go here. Okay. I should be winning this, but it's going to take some time. Wait, is this like a... No, I just keep going. And now I go to a5. And if he checks, I go here. And now I promote. Now actually I should check, maybe. And now I take this guy. And now I promote. And promote. Okay, that time scramble was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Okay, so two games. Um, I think he was too greedy that game, but, but he probably... Yeah, he probably swindled me somehow. Anyway. So, e6. Oh, I don't play this line usually. Okay, transpose to something. Ah, the Vinever. Let's see. Knight e7. Okay, I think I play this now. And now it's c5? Yes. They go knight f3. Queen a5, oh, this line, hmm. Am I checking here? Okay, I'm not trading the bishops, I'm going here. Trading the bishops would be a big concession. So I just castle now. Okay, my idea is to not allow him to trade the bishops, like, ever. Hmm, this is looking... I don't know about him castling. Isn't that a bit dangerous? With my knight coming here and then f4? Isn't f4 dangerous here? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, maybe f4 immediately has h6. And then I can't move my bishop. So h6. What if I go f5 then? Nah, that's, that's too much. Let's go bishop e3, admit that uh, what I did there was stupid, and then go for f4. And then bishop g4, and then I push f5. Now, oh, okay. I guess if he puts... No, he doesn't want to do that. Hmm. I'm just going to give up the, the C pawn, anyway. Hmm. Then I go for this. Okay. I'm gonna give up the C pawn. Then Queen H3 or something. This is looking dumb though. <laughs> like a dumb attack. Yeah, this, this shouldn't work. Okay, now I'm inviting queen d3 as well. In that case, I go rook f3. It 
might have some potential, but this attack looks dumb. Okay, forcing the trade. I would like to go rook here anyway. And now, I mean, if this were free checks, I would be quite happy, but it's not. Okay, I don't know what he's angling for with this move. Mm, okay. What do I do here? I just admit that my move was sort of ins Oh. Wait, hold on, don't I have this now? And I'm winning something on d3. I think that was a cold blunder by him. My attack was going nowhere, to be honest, so... Had he not blundered that... Okay, he wants to sack the exchange. Why is he thinking so much? Huh? I just play this now. And um, these pieces are still stuck. So now I'm threatening this. This is my next move. Yes, sir. This is my next move. And he's in a world of hurt now. <laughs> he's gonna lose more stuff. Okay, that was a good game. I mean, my attack was all over the place. I don't think there was an attack, but I was trying my best. Yeah. Okay, he goes for this. I can just take that. Let's trade more pieces. And now I just take here. And I have an extra rook. Mm, yeah. Well, it's an extra rook, but let's not blunder. Okay, do I blunder anything though? No. Well, yes. And let's just play it safe. I don't need to take the rook and allow queen d1. Maybe there's a perpetual there or something, who knows. I just take here now. I'm threatening mate. He sees that, but it's all over. It's all over from here. Let's not move this one, let's move this. Okay, we got that. Nice. So we're climbing climbing up in the standings. Yeah, yeah, it's almost impossible to make up the deficit. Even if you're Naka. Mm. So yeah, as I said, the, the attack wasn't going anywhere, but he just blundered the piece. He succumbed to the invisible pressure, let's say. <laughs> there was invisible pressure there. There was nothing, but... Yeah. There were uh, ghost threats that you had to see. <laughs> okay, let's go for the Benoni. I like playing the Czech Benoni. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this Ampa Sony capture, as far as I know, is, isn't that great. I just get a very comfortable position. Also with Bishop E2, yeah, this this isn't quite good. How do I play this? A3, A6. He doesn't want to prevent B5. Well, how do I develop the pieces now? Though, do I go for this? Pushing in the center seems good. I have an open F file. Um. Okay, what do I want to do now? Do I... What do I want to do? Okay. Mm. How, do I develop? How do I develop? Maybe just look B8 and wait for him to do something. Yeah, let's wait for him. I don't want to be too committed. Maybe though D4... D4 takes takes and D5. That that looks good. Well, it looks interesting. Let's not pre-move that. What if it takes or something? Yeah. 
Okay, this is this looks interesting. I'm getting some uh, some pawn mojo going. Let's say just go bishop g4. In fact, I maybe had uh, e4, but anyway. Okay, now what about this? What about love? Um. So yeah, this. wants a trade. That's not a good trade though. Just go knight, if, uh, knight f4. I wanted to go there anyway. And now I have some nice threats. So now bishop f6 to stabilize the center situation. Maybe I should have gone rook f6. That was a bit hasty. Okay, but now h5. h5, yeah. He has to go to f3. He sees that. Now, just g4. And let's have some fun. Now g4. We're having lots of fun. Just pushing the pawns forward like a maniac. Um, I can't... I can't do some, some discovery with the knight. Yeah, because I have... Is that a mate? If I go knight check... He takes, I go queen of two, and then queen of one is made. So yeah, this is working. So knight h3. And now... Hmm. Now he has no move, right? He has to take the... He doesn't have to take the knight. But if he doesn't, I win the queen. If he goes to h1, I mean. If he goes to f1, it's an immediate mate on f2. And if he takes the knight, queen of 2 he moves to f1, I check, and it's mate. So yeah, this knight blocking these two rooks from the help, from helping the king, yeah. So he has to lose the queen. Actually, isn't this still the mate? Yeah, this is more accurate, because it's still the mate. I have the mate on f1. <laughs> That's funny, I wanted to go for the queen. So I think it's forced mate anyway. Okay, so far it's 4-0. Hopefully I can keep this performance up. Nice, we're climbing a bit in the standings. I don't think I can, even if I keep the perfect score and win quickly or something, I, I don't think I can. Okay, an 1850. So e4, e6, okay. Okay, and this time I'm not going. I've been playing too much 3 checks. In 3 checks, knight c3 is the immediate move against the, the French. Because d4 just loses to bishop b4 check. But here it's not. <laughs> In orthodox chess, it's not. The Venever is so popular. Okay, with c5 now. What? Isn't this known to be bad? But for what reason? I think I take. And after he... I don't know. If he takes, I'm... Huh? Don't I have queen g4 here? I'm slightly confused. Whoa, he's, he's dashing out these moves as of their theory. But they're not. He's just lost something. Okay, stop playing this quickly if you don't know the line. What the? <laughs> okay, that was a strange game. Um, he, he just messed up the line, I think. Poor guy. Yeah. I think something went, went wrong there. He mixed up the lines or something. Mm. I remember the... I remember that... Uh, D, uh, c takes d4 was a bad move, but I forgot for what real reason. I don't think it was queen d4. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, sixth game. Ah, the Scandi, okay. Knight c3. I'm gonna go for an aggressive setup. Ah, queen d8. That, that sort of kills my aggressive setup. Still, I'll, I'll develop the knight here. And go to for g4, maybe. Yeah, the problem is... 
that g4 he trades queens i don't want to trade queens okay this takes takes so we've made uh, we've made uh, some aggression out of this out of this sort of dull scandinavian the scandinavian itself isn't dull but the queen d8 variation eh. Okay, let's play for some tactics, then c3 if he takes. I think this is bad though. <laughs> like objectively, this is a bad position. Because where am I casting now? But I mean for blitz, eh, can maybe try it. Okay, let's see. So he'll go for b5 I assume. I need to get the mates coming in. Play that very quickly. Just rook g1, I guess. Okay, he's giving me some play now on the dark squares. I'll just go for this then. He's sacking. Sacky, sack, sack. He's attacking both rooks. Well, he wasn't attacking both rooks. That was dumb. But anyway. <laughs> what's done is done. Why are you checking me around? I just go here. Was his plan to win h5? I mean, you can have that pawn. I don't want it. So now this move, maybe? I want to come in on the... On the dark squares. Yeah, so what is he doing now? I missed that he's attacking the bishop. But anyway, just go to you one later. Okay, so here, and I should go to here to c3. He does have the f5 square. I'll, I'll hand him that. But I mean, I just sidestep that, right? Yeah, I just go here. I think queen h4 is strong now. Yeah. Gonna have to move here. And he's gonna check. I don't know how good that check was because now he isn't controlling f6. But it's some check. Okay, so now what's his, the idea? My bishops cover some diagonals. Um. Queen e5 maybe? Oh, he allowed a mate. Okay. Wow, I made the first page. I wasn't expecting to. Okay, that's nice. So, the sixth game that was. Had I joined like 20 minutes earlier, this would have been a bit different. Okay, so now we're getting into a French. I used to play the French a lot, but... I have since changed my ways. Let's see if he gives me the good bishop. He does not. So what about this expansion? I'm not sure it's the best. But it's an expansion, certainly. G4, I haven't committed to castling yet. I'll just close the queen side and attack you. Okay, fine. You can open up the queen side, but I'm still attacking you. Ah. Okay, so now I need to go for an f6 break. I think I got that. Do I go for it immediately? Yeah, I guess. I guess I do. Ah, I missed that. Uh, oops, I missed that. This guy is hanging. Sort of forgot. Forgot about that. Okay, he's really on his merry way. He might check me now. Have to sidestep that. 
but it's just a check. Now I'm winning the exchange. And with it, hopefully, the game. The problem is my king's safety, but... I figured it should be fine. I could take here now. Just take with the rook. If I'm getting the trades going, then I'm happy. He should not trade queens, of course. Okay, but maybe I come in with my queen. Now I'm threatening f3. And if not, g4. Okay, so he chooses to defend this way. But now if I take... I take back and then check. He wants to check me on a5, which is quite annoying. So I'll stop that. Checking on a5 almost forces a draw. So I need to stop that. Okay, now I just run with this pawn. I need to get rid of this guy. H how do I trade queens? I don't know. Let's not play for that yet. Okay, maybe bishop b7 now. And then queen, and then king c7. That looks like a good idea. Okay, this is just a pawn sacrifice. I mean, he has nothing at the moment. If knight d6, I just take that. And then maybe even take the knight. We'll see. Mm, the problem is the position is a bit messy. But, um, yeah, this should be good. Okay, so this is the sixth game. We'll analyze the games and then, uh, and then play four more in the, ne in the next hourly super blitz. And we'll call it a session. Okay, so what if I check on the back rank now? Okay, do I ne really need to do any of that though? I could just play this. I don't need to go for complications when the position doesn't ask for it. Okay, now if I just go here. And uh, the queen trade is forced now, right? Knight b5 I just take. Maybe, I think the comp would have found some really pretty wins, but uh, for a human it's important just to be practical when you're up material. Okay. He might go for d5 now, yes, but I check first. Then I guess I take. Do I even need to take? I don't, I just play for this now. And then here or here or king b6. Yeah, king b6 maybe. No, king... King b8, king b8 looks good. And now I want to play this. So this would be a nice move. But he's threatening some things. So I'll play this. If he goes for bishop e8, I play king here. And he has nothing with the knights. My bishop uh, is two squares away, so I'm controlling that knight well. Okay, this is the last, last ditch attempt. What do I do? I just play this. And now I've simplified the position. I can just play here, and yeah, I've simplified the position and it's easy. Okay, so, oh, I didn't finish on the first page because that last game didn't count. But okay, let's wait around for the next super blitz. Where is it? Where is it? Only super blitz, and, oh, it's just two minutes. Okay, so maybe I won't be able to analyze the games. We just press the analysis button and uh, hope for the best and play. Okay, so these games. Oh wait, I played seven games. I thought they were six. I guess I don't know how to count. <laughs> One. Oh, there was that one that finished very quickly, because he messed up the theory or something. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's seven. So I need to play three more. Okay, so let's press the analysis button here. The analysis button there. The analysis button everywhere. Analysis button here. Analysis button there. Okay. This game was was a weird one. I'm interested in seeing this game. Let's check it out first. Okay. This was, I think my technique in this game was nice. Maybe it was, I hope it was instructive for you guys. Okay, the analysis is running here. Running, running, running. Okay. Um, instead of keeping the profile open, I just play. Uh, I just open the tab after every game. I hope to play this and um the next three games. That would be nice. Rezeknian, Rezeknian. I don't know. Is he Armenian? Why can't I press this? Um, that's strange. I guess it was lagging a bit. Wishy Anand. <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 1, 1, 0. Okay, so... We got it 2100. Let's try it. He's berserking me. I should have berserked back. Ah, whatever. We'll play, we'll play the King's Gambit. Let's have some fun. Oh, he plays the boring line. What? Is that a move here? I, I don't know. I guess it is. Uh, I shouldn't hang on to the pawn. It's knight f3. Uh, I, don't I don't know really. C4 now. Hmm. Yeah, now, now this looks bad. This. What if he goes knight e3? I'm just taking now. Knight e3, I play bishop d3. This is looking weird already. I can't castle like ever. Guess I go king of two. Um this is this is very greedy. You're playing the king's gambit. Please don't be greedy. <laughs> okay, so I need to prevent knight b4. Um, G3 now or something. Okay, this, I just go with this knight here. I'm tempted to sack the exchange, but it's bad. Um, what about G3? Let's have this. Hmm. Okay, I'm weakening G3. I'm... Ooh! <laughs> That was funny. Oh, the Anam lost quickly as well. B but I guess he, he aborted the game or something. Yeah. Beca because you can't lose that quickly unless you get checkmated <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> okay. Don't play the King's Gambit against strong opponents until you've learned the theory properly. Yeah, I, I basically know z almost zero theory about the King's Gambit. Well, I do know some lines, but... Yeah, it's pretty bad. Against strong, okay, I should have thought back. It's, I wouldn't say impolite, but I mean, okay, what am I playing now? I'm playing some weird thing here. I can just take this. Now this, and I'm forking. Okay, I don't know how to highlight these. Apparently. I'm forking this. Now I have a five. Yeah. Okay, he prevents that. Do I just take? There's, there's really no reason to take. Okay, now, now I take because he's dislodging the knight. I hope he checks me here and passes up. He does not. Um, let's provoke g4. Why not? He doesn't want any of it. 
Okay, <laughs> why is he baby stepping g4? That's weird. Now I go for this. Diagonal is very weak. Mm, f5 now. Okay, and this, and I'm owning a piece. Let's not blunder. I hope he takes a a7. Then I play b6 and get the Bobby Fisher thing going. Okay, now maybe I annoy this rook. And I play. What do I play? I could I could win a pawn with this. Could annoy the rook once again. Now what's where's he going with the bishop? Okay, this square go c5 and if bishop c3 I'm very happy okay no he doesn't want to go there oh I don't have time that's dumb um that's really dumb the only way for me to lose this would be on time and I can barely pre-move now and I'm lagging too okay this is bad I need to move more quickly Let's go, 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 faster. I knew he'd go for that check. This, now this. Let's prevent the king from coming in. And let's come in with our king. And let's take that. No reason to allow the king to enter. And this is a safe one. Unfortunately, I'm on a trackpad. I still haven't. <laughs> yeah, but we got the job done. Okay. Um, so, one more game. I should analyze this. That, uh, that game, this game was a non-game. I just, I just messed up the theory and I was lost. Okay, what do I, I'll play the Sicilian. We haven't seen an e4 open yet, right? The four knights, an old favorite of mine. Mm. For those looking to prepare for me, yeah, just, just look up the four knights. <laughs> This is weird. A four is very weird. A four is, uh, yeah, basically losing. So let's see what we can do here. I'm threatening already. Uh, bishop c three. If knight c6 I go bishop c3. He can't get the bishop back to d2 now because f4 blocks that. So this is already looking bad. And if he takes on f6 I also take bishop c3. I also play bishop c3. And this is like an improved version of these lines. What? Okay, so this and I take on e4. I mean if he's not capturing, he should capture. Hmm, but then maybe, maybe, let's consider taking on b2. If he moves the bishop, I take the rook, and I have an exchange, but the, I don't like the dark squares. Nah, let's, let's not do that. No reason to do that, I think. Yeah, no, nah, I don't see any reason to do that. Here I'll take with the b-pawn, so I get the b-file and my queen is still like on a semi-active square. So what am I up here? I'm up just a pawn, but his king position is looking bad. And I'm up some time, <laughs> that's, that's important. Um, okay, so just get the rook on the b-file, and king e7, I think. 
because I have e5 controlled. Okay, so he wants to trade immediately, I guess. What if he brings the queen, though? I guess I go queen b6 and then play that end game. Okay, this I'm going here. He really wants to trade queens. Okay, I don't. I don't want to do that. So check and now bishop a6. Okay, but he might get some activity with the rook. So let's make sure I do this right. Um. Yeah, I'll just play bishop a6. He'll go rook b1 almost certainly, and I'll go queen a5. Because I need to maintain contact with this a6 bishop or else I lose it. So after rook b1, if I move the, the queen, he takes the bishop. And, okay, queen a3 might be an idea. I have to play d6 then. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I haven't played this in the best way possible. Well, almost certainly I haven't played this in the best way possible. Now e5 maybe? Hmm. If I do I check. Checking isn't like the best thing in the world. Now this and I guess I win the end game now. Unless he doesn't think I win the end game, then it's different. Okay, he's winning the the pawn there, is he not? He is. But I do win a4. Mm-hmm. I think I should jettison the spawn. Just play for activity. Yeah, I should. I think I should just rid myself of the spawn and play for activity. Hawking here. I think he's going in the wrong. He's just attacking uh, my pawns randomly. Okay, just a check. I move. And um, this should be winning. Check now. I push. If it goes there, I yeah okay. So that's it. Those are the ten games. Let's uh, let's analyze them now. I pause the tournament. So let's analyze these games. Let's press analysis on this. Did I press on analysis on the other one? Yes, I did. Okay. So this was the first game. Let's look here. Okay. Uh, the first game he played very well for a 1500, amazingly well. And pause. Yeah, great, great player. Wait, I see. Ah, I thought he was rated to 1000, <laughs> 200 and atomic. Anyway. Okay, so we played the King's Indian setup. Apparently the computer th thinks that uh, bishop d6 is a waste, okay, I'll play h6 next time to prevent his bishop from going anywhere. Yeah, because his bishop did find a useful square. Then the up trading itself there, which I don't think is that good. So d4 here was a good decision, of course if I take, he just takes like this. So d4 and I lose the bishop pair. The bishop pair doesn't matter too much in this position, but the nice thing about the bishop pair is that if you're not careful, it starts to matter. I had this sacrifice. I, I was considering it. I was considering it because he picks up b7. Or this. Yeah, if he, but if I take here... Let's see what the engine thinks. I, I just... I think it's just picking up b7. Wait, no, he has rook b8 then. What's the point of this? Um, so knight takes, yeah, bishop takes, oh, f4, just 
queen here, and I have tremendous amounts of pressure. Okay, that's that's funny. Oh, I'm losing a piece. I see, I see. That's that's comp stuff though. Comp stuff. So you had that e5 move later as well. Yeah, he was basically outplaying me here. I'm not so happy about my position. He should have gone to b6. Yeah, going for yeah knight b6 and then knight d5, forking these two. So we went here. Okay, I I should have taken, I guess. Okay. Ah, here I missed knight c6 because I thought I'd just take, but he's protecting it with this guy. Okay. Yeah, this this just yeah, he, he just collapsed here. Okay. Now it's this Sicilian. I messed up the theory here. Penalty g4 is bad. What should I play? If I come across such a similar situation. Let's see. A3. Okay, a move I would never consider in a billion years. Let's look at the opening explorer, actually. The comp isn't so helpful in this situation, unless it's running on... Okay, all set. So the masters have played g4 here, as I have. But the engine at this low depth doesn't approve, but whatever. We're still following the grand masters here. They went with g5, okay. g5 next time. Knight fd7. And f4. Okay, we'll play that next time. Let's let's check out the... Uh, oh, I went too far back. Let's check out the alternatives. So... After g5, what if he goes here? Then what do I play? f4 still, okay. And here, if he goes knight g4... I just retreat the bishop there. Okay. Okay, that seems reasonable. Sacking was probably a dumb idea. A3. A3 is nuts. What happened after this? I just retreat. Sorry. Just retreat here so that if knight a3 I'm keeping contact with this. Okay. Okay then. The sacrifice yeah, isn't correct. Because he has two knights that go to c4 and they just lose the pawn. Yeah, it's not correct here. But I like the sacrifice because I learned about it and every time I do it, it doesn't work out. Every time. There's some wrinkle why it doesn't work out. Here it's because I lose a pawn because there are two knights that go to c4. If there were one, I would just take with bishop c4. But here there are two. Anyway. We outplayed him in the ensuing uh, endgame. Yeah, I was lost. These pawns look strong, but they're not going anywhere. Because he has the bishop on the diagonal. Yeah, he should just push the pawn here. I felt that yeah, bishop a8 is a bishop a8 is a waste. I mean, why do that? My pawn isn't going to a7, a8 anytime soon. And I mean, it's like you're treating your bishop like a knight. I mean, your bishop is covering a8, whether it's on a a8 or it's on h1. So yeah, he should have pushed. Ah, he had rook c4. Now it's a draw, because he has all of these covered. In the game, he didn't have this square covered. Let's see what happened in the game. So he checked me all around. But then he didn't have this square covered. So I could go here. Hmm, I see. And here I was scrambling on time. Okay. Nice, nice. So this game... Yeah, he, he got a huge advantage. I should just go knight b3, okay. Alright. Maybe 
here I started going uh, wrong then. What should I play after C5? Okay, again the engine won't be useful here. Let's look at the master database. Let's see what the masters played in this position. Queen G4. I see. Okay, okay, Queen G4 next time. I forgot what you do in this line. So yeah, now he has a huge advantage. I managed to swindle him because of this. <laughs> Taking the exchange is bad, apparently. Maybe because he picks up the queenside pawns or something. But that's funny. Yeah, I don't... He has enough compensation. But the way he played it, yeah, taking that pawn was too too much. Winning the exchange is a small victory, but winning the whole piece with the exchange, yeah, not good. Okay, so I go... So in that Vinever I go Queen G4. In that game I played against the first guy, the 1500, I should play... Um... Uh, I shouldn't allow, after he goes d3, I shouldn't allow his bishop to go to to g5, I should play h6. And later on the, in the middle game, I I shouldn't allow that e5 break to, it worked out tactically. And in the second game, I shouldn't do that sacrifice, I should just go with g4, f5. Okay, now for this game. This game, I... I was at a loss for a plan a bit. I wasn't coming up with a good plan. So yeah, this en passant stuff is just equal. If we're going to play against the Benoni... Okay, I should've played d4 here. I sort of delayed it. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, here also, after he moved the queen, I realized that I can go e4, d3. I, I forgot. Like here, in this position, I was thinking, oh yeah, I have e4. If he moves the queen, and he ended up moving the queen, and I, uh, I didn't pay attention really. So here, did I, did I lose the advantage somehow? Should be two. Is that so bad? Maybe queen d7. Maybe. Why doesn't it like bishop d2 as much? Uh, bishop e2 as much. Yeah, queen d7. Nice, I'm finding the right moves. At least in an analysis. Ah, e4 here. I was considering also rook f6. Mm, yeah, bishop c1, okay. And he, he got some things going on here. So e4. Yeah, I'm controlling a large chunk of the center. If he does nothing, I just go here, right? And his queen is actually trapped, oh my god, so that's the idea behind it, e4. Nice. Yeah, he has So this was a bit crazy, but it works. Yeah, and I found the mate. Okay, nice. Uh, this game, okay. This game, okay, let's see. So here, what's the right move? Queen takes d4 is not. I should, yeah, go a takes b4, I guess. Okay. I should go a takes before. Yeah, I, I sort of remember that. Yeah, okay. Okay. The way I play, he played it though he lost a piece. Must have forgotten the theory or something. Ah, this this was a funny game. I was just trying to... Yeah, g4 was too much. It's just because it splits. I should play bishop d3 and attack him like a normal person. g4 is just... <laughs> crazy. Queen f3 here I missed. Yeah, I should prevent his queen d5. I should do that. Ah, rook h3 to prevent uh, a later queen h2 as has happened in the game. Okay. That uh, piece sacrificed by him is quite good. 
Could you have maybe taken on h5? Probably not. Do I trap the queen with bishop e2? Or is it just that it's a bad position? Oh, I just take, take, and rook h1. Oh yeah, I enter the end game, and I'm a piece of... Right. Yeah, allowing this check was bad, because of queen h4, right. And queen h4, if here he has queen h2, and I'm losing a rook. So queen h4, I have to go to f1, and he opens up the f-file, and I'm lost. Yeah, so... So bishop e2 was bad, I need to play this to prevent queen h4. Okay, okay. He played this, queen b3. I should have prevented it like that, that's interesting. What if he goes here? I, I missed that, the queen was hanging. Okay, okay. So we need to go queen h4 again, and I'm completely lost. This, my king is escaping into safety. Yeah. Surprising me. Queen e5. I can just play this. Yeah, I keep forgetting I'm a piece of. Okay. That's good. What about this? This my technique was good, I think. I allowed too much, though. Yeah, he can take that and play bishop e3. Right. I can't take back here. Because he has bishop e3. This, I guess this, and my queen. No, I have g4. What is it then? What's wrong with queen c5? Is it bishop e3? Bishop e3, queen c4, and is my queen trapped? No, oh, hold on. Bishop e3. Okay, so what's up with bishop e3? Bishop e3, queen c4, ah, knight, yeah, this, and I'm losing the queen, yeah, okay. Anyway, he didn't play that. f6 was too early, I should have, yeah, I just lost the pawn for no reason. He should take here, yeah, and uh, the center is crumbling, especially this, if he takes here. This is bad. He just lost the exchange here. Ah, so now with queen d3, if I take as this check, and then he picks up this guy, okay? Because after here I can't go with this, he just takes. What if this, this? Hmm, okay, I need the engine here. Ah, right, right. I don't need the engine, I just need the brain. Hmm. Okay, so the way I played it, it was quite good. Yeah, nice technique. This I just lost out of the opening. I should go bishop c4, apparently. And I was just lost. Also missed the mate in one to add insult to injury. <laughs> ah, this, okay, what happened here? Um, I think, I think I, I misplayed it a bit. I think I misplayed this, so... So, if I play... Okay, okay, so this... Yeah, I shouldn't take. Oh, I should have... Yeah, why didn't I take with the queen, actually? Then I have... If he takes back with the queen... I have c2. Threatened. Okay, but the way it played out... Yeah, I was... I, was really I just got into a bit of time pressure. That's all. Okay, for the final game... Apparently I missed a huge win. Oh, I missed taking here, and if he takes back with the queen, bishop c5, and I win the queen. Oops. Oopsie daisy. 
Yeah, this game I must stop a lot. I ended up winning in the end game, but I didn't make use of my advantage quite well. Yeah, here I shouldn't trade bishops. Ah, queen g. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I missed that. But what happens if he goes to g2 then? I take. Oh, I got this. Okay, that's a nice line. Okay, so. Yeah, I messed this up somehow. Here I like how I jettisoned the pawn and made use of the activity. It's very difficult for for white to play, especially with the clock ticking. And I just converted the one. Okay, so that was a nice session. We learned some things. I can't really make a summary because all the games were so different. But um, maybe like I should uh, make better use of my... Uh, like I know these things, I should make better use of my understanding. I should, yeah. Okay, so um, like like that uh, that um, game in the vinegar. I've seen these positions before. Should have gone knight b3. That was the third game where I won exchange and then won a piece. Um, I should uh, make better use of my ch of my ideas. I know this that when I lose the c pawn, the vinegar. The attack, the attack isn't good, it's just a ghost attack. So I should have played knight b3 then, and not went, and shouldn't have gone for that stupid attack. And the, these kind of things. Yeah, okay, so this was a nice session, uh, thanks for watching guys.